The space industry is basically in a, in a revolution. Uh, you know, Space 2.0 it's been referred to. There's new launch vehicles, new companies. Uh, things are moving from government to the private sector. Meanwhile, there is a revolution in small satellite technologies, nanosatellite technologies. And so it's sort of a new paradigm for both space exploration, Earth remote sensing, and space platforms. The Space Science Center at Moorhead State University was an early adopter of nanosatellites, uh, particularly CubeSats. We have been able to meet and exceed all of the needs to build a CubeSat. In other words, we've become a one-stop shop here. We've built all the infrastructure necessary to go from concept to final delivery, including all the environmental testing, the shake and bake, if you will, uh, all the necessities of a clean room, all the electronic systems that are required to do this as well as having the infrastructure here to communicate with them. We're very fortunate to have a 21-meter dish antenna. So we've come from very humble beginnings to being an internationally recognized force in the CubeSat business. Moorhead State University is a small regional university, about 10,000 students in Appalachian, Kentucky. We have outstanding staff that we brought in from all over, from the East Coast and the West Coast, from the aerospace and defense industries. And we've all sort of met here in the middle of the country to produce a, a pretty exciting uh, program and uh, research and development facility. We really have all of the assets here, all of the connections to really attract um, aerospace businesses to want to work with us and the students really benefit from that. They benefit from what I would call a, a, a real-world hands-on university. The degree programs in space science at Moorhead State University are based on hands-on experiences for the students. That means that you have to understand how to design, build, fabricate spacecraft and, and spacecraft sub subsystems. So the hands-on experiences that students get are invaluable. The students play such a vital role in our production of our projects here at the Space Science Center. We have to use all hands that are on deck. Everybody that's in the building will have a job no matter what. Even if you're just a first day freshman, we can put you somewhere for sure. And so that gives great opportunities for the underclassmen to develop their skills as they grow through our program. They really got their hands into something to make real things work. And I think every one of them, before they get out of this program, even with a, a bachelor's degree, have had their hands on a satellite that went into space. Now that's, that's pretty cool. The Space Science Center has flown to date seven space missions. They've ranged from uh, 1U CubeSats that were technology demonstrations through larger spacecraft like microsatellites and 6U spacecraft that we're working on now, which is a lunar mission. In fact, that's probably the coolest thing that we've, we've done, which is the Lunar Ice Cube mission. It's actually a NASA mission, but it's led by Moorhead State University and its partners. We're all working together to build a small suitcase-sized spacecraft that's going to uh, get a ride to Earth Escape on the maiden voyage of the Space Launch System, NASA's big rocket that's under development. I'm on the flight software team, so I primarily work with our flat set. Um, that's working with the emulators and the SDUs uh, to start to get everything talking to our CNDH. We're going to orbit the moon for about a year and map the distribution of water ice to try to understand the transport physics to see where water ends up. We are gonna study the universe from this incredible platform, and to do that, you have to you know, live and work on the lunar environment. So we'd really like to understand uh, the water, where it is, and how it's distributed on the moon. The fact that as an undergrad student, you get to participate and work with NASA is unbelievable. Our resumes after we graduate just with a bachelor's degree is incredible. We've had a unique opportunity presented to us by NASA JPL, the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California. They're the creators and managers of what is known as the Deep Space Network. We were invited to join as the first ever external organization to become part of the Deep Space Network. This opens up a larger window into space where we can monitor satellites and other cosmic bodies that are not only past our Earth and past our Moon, but interplanetary in itself. They may be willing in the future to bring other stations on and will serve as sort of the test case or hallmark by which the others can perhaps copy the things we've done, not repeat the mistakes we've made, and perhaps a shortcut to the successes we hope to enjoy. 
It's been great to have um, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory people come and talk to us. Our students get a lot of experience that way. They get to see really the inner workings and how it's done in real life. It's important for Moorhead State University to develop the pipeline of students entering in the undergraduate degree program. Our summer programs include Space Trek, which is an all-girls space camp. Uh, some like to call it a boot camp. It's a very rigorous camp where we bring in 24 girls across the state of Kentucky, uh, rising into their 10th grade years. And these girls come in having never seen a resistor before in some cases, and they build an entire scientific instrument, launch it from the roof of the Space Science Center, and pull down data in real time. What often happens is that girls find a true passion for electronics, telecommunications, and space science. It turns out that aerospace is the number one industry in the state of Kentucky. We're not producing scientists and engineers at the rate that the aerospace industry needs to even maintain the current workforce. So I think that's our most important mission at the Space Science Center is to produce the, the next generation of scientists and engineers that can support the aerospace and defense workforces in the United States.